Hi, and welcome to today's Leading with Purpose Digest. Today, we're diving into the topic of how to be a more self-aware leader. Self-awareness and leadership, it's like the secret sauce that makes good leaders truly great. Being self-aware isn't just about knowing your strengths and weaknesses. It's about understanding how your actions, emotions, and decisions affect the people around you. The good news is, with some intentional steps, you can level up your self-awareness and become a more impactful leader. Here's how. One, start with emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is about recognizing and managing your emotions while also understanding and influencing others. It has four parts. Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. Being self-aware means really knowing yourself, your strengths, blind spots, emotions, and what drives you. Why does this matter? Because when you understand your emotional triggers and motivations, you can navigate challenges and make decisions with authenticity and clarity. It's like having a superpower for leadership. Two, ask for feedback and use it. Want to know how others want to see your leadership? Ask them. Regular feedback from your team, peers, or mentors is like a mirror that helps you see what's working and what's not. A great way to get well-rounded input is through tools like a 360-degree feedback. Here's how to make the most of the feedback. One, be specific. Instead of asking, how am I doing? Try, how did I handle that meeting? Two, listen without defensiveness. It's not always easy, but feedback is meant to help you grow. And three, take action. Reflect on what you've learned and create a plan to improve. Three, take time to reflect. Reflection is where growth happens. Set aside a few minutes daily or weekly to think about your experiences, decisions, and interactions. A leadership journal can be a great tool for capturing your thoughts. Questions you may want to ask yourself, what went well today, what didn't? How did my emotions shape my decisions? What did I learn about myself as a leader? Four, embrace mindfulness. Might sound a bit trendy, but it is a game changer. It's all about staying present and aware of your thoughts and feelings. Practices like meditation, deep breathing, or even a mindful walk can help you tune into yourself. Five, lead with empathy. Empathy is your bridge to stronger relationships. It's about understanding and connecting with your team's emotions and experiences. When people feel seen and heard, trust and collaboration flourish. How do you do that? Listen actively to them. Validate the emotions they're feeling and see their perspective. Six, keep learning. Self-awareness isn't a one and done deal. It's a lifelong journey. Keep seeking out opportunities to grow, whether it's through books, workshops, or working with a coach or mentor. Some professional tips are to pick up some books on leadership and emotional intelligence to gain fresh insights or partner with a coach or mentor who can offer guidance and honest feedback. In a nutshell, becoming a self-aware leader is about more than just personal growth. It's about inspiring and empowering those around you. When you invest in understanding yourself, you'll naturally build stronger connections, make better decisions, and create a positive, productive culture. Start small, stay curious, and embrace the journey. Your leadership and your team will thank you. Please check out this blog and other services we offer at www.dameleadership.com. And as always, we look for tools to help you become a better, more purposeful leader. Thank you.